Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today I want to discuss the weekend preview on the big fight taking place Saturday, May 22nd on ESPN. We got the undisputed junior welterweight championship. Feet. Take exit 382 for Capital Expressway. <clears throat> junior welterweight championship on the line when Jose Ramirez of Avenal, right by Fresno, California, all this area that I cover... Um, and I live in um, California. Then use the left lane to he's, keep right at the fork. He's taking on undefeated unified champion Josh Taylor in the main event. Um, we'll get into that in, in my prediction on the fight in a minute. I am going to discuss the um, <clears throat> the undercard first. Where um, not a bad undercard actually. You got Elvis Rodriguez, junior welterweight, 140. He's a contender on the rise right now, trying to make a name for himself. Um, you know, he is going to be uh, taking on some guy named Kenneth Sims Jr. Kind of a step up in competition, but not a big threat. But Elvis Rodriguez has been fun to watch so far. He's 11-0 um, he's and 0 with 10 knockouts. Uh, he does have a draw, so hopefully he can, uh, you know, we can see him um, continue to improve. Feet. Use the left two lanes to turn left on the East Capital Expressway. We, we can see him continue to improve and move, you know, up at 140, you know, and make a name for himself. So uh, that's kicking off the card. Left two lanes to turn left onto East Capitol Expressway. Then in another, actually it's all 140 pounders um, on this card because you have so Jose Cepeda, who's the number one contender in the WBC at 140. He's coming off the fight of the year uh, with him and Yvonne Berienchik when they fought last October, October and traded eight knockdowns between them. He finished Barry and Chick on the last knockdown, a left right down the middle that dropped Barry and Chick hard uh, for the count. That was the biggest of his career, so he's bouncing back off of that, taking on veteran, former world title challenger, Hank Lundy. Now, Hank Lundy, you know Hank Lundy's been around the block. That dude's uh, been around for a long time. He was a legitimate uh, lightweight contender for a while there and in, in, uh, super lightweight. And, um, you know, he, uh, he, he, he's done okay for himself in his career, but he, he lost fights back to back in 18 and 19. He's kind of just, uh, a gatekeeper at best, kind of a stepping stone, you know, get a name on your resume type fight for, um, Zapata, who's just trying to stay busy ahead of a potential world title shot later in the year, which he should be getting. He should be in line to fight for a title late this year, um, later this year after whoever decides between Ramirez and uh, Taylor fight, um, Zapata should be number one contender for uh, the WBC belt. So don't know if he's going to get one of them in the ring. He might end up fighting for the vacant title. But this one, I expect Zapata to come out. Um, I'm hope, I hope, I just hope he's not overconfident against the veteran. You know, like I said, uh, uh, Lundy is not a, was not a bad, um, you know, junior welterweight and lightweight. He wasn't bad for uh, years there, but I think he's just going to get some work in, smash on Lundy, um, and uh, hopefully get a middle to later round stoppage win as he will stay um, a mile. Turn right onto poised. Avenue. He will stay poised for that world title shot later in the year, which he should be getting. So that's my prediction on that one. Now the main event. Josh Taylor, Jose Ramirez for the undisputed Junior Welterweight Championship of the World. I mean, this is just a big fight, guys. It, it's huge. Main event at ESPN. Um, only the sixth time in the four belt era that we're going to see a an undisputed champion with, of the four belt era. And that's all, that's been going on about 25, 30 years, the four belt era. So um, the winner of this fight gets to decide who the undisputed champion is. They they get to do it in the ring. They, they will decide who the better man is. You got Ramirez. He holds WBC, WBO titles. He's coming off of a hard-fought uh, majority decision win over former champ and number one contender, Victor Postal. Um, you know, tough, tough fight right there. He's been champion, though, since 2017, you know, and uh, he got a, a huge win um, in 2019 when he unified titles. Um, when he unified titles beating, uh, what's his name, um, Maurice Hooker. You know, that was a huge win for him, sixth-round stoppage. So, you know, he is uh, trying to leave no doubt. Miles. He's trying to leave no doubt who the, who the man is um, in this division, and he has an opportunity here against Taylor. Taylor, um, 
you know, had a first round knockout win against the mandatory number one contender back in, uh, I believe it was September, October of last year. Um, but prior to that, he won the World Boxing Super Series, defeating Regis Progre in a very close fight, um, you know, to unify belts and put himself at the top of the division. Now these two guys are both running parallel with each other at the top of 140, and the winner will be decided in this fight. Now, um, on to my prediction and what I think. Well, if you watch my breakdown video, you already know what I'm predicting, but I think this is close to a 50-50 fight. It could be. I think Taylor, though, is, is just the better fighter overall. I think he has enough power to keep anybody honest, but he's not a huge knockout guy. He just has power to keep you honest. But his boxing ability is is so is very is very good. He's a very talented fighter. You know he can box. He can box uh, from angles. You know he jabs well and he moves well. Um, and I think that's going to frustrate uh, Ramirez. I think Ramirez is kind of that straightforward, come forward, tough guy. Can take shots. Um, grinder. He's he's more the prototypical Mexican fighter. But um, you know Ramirez will surprise you. He does have some decent boxing ability. And um, he does know how to hit from angles. He just doesn't do it all the time. Um, and I have, you know, if he cannot cut off the ring against Taylor and kind of wear him down, um, I think Taylor is just going to move and box and outwork him and get a clean, unanimous decision. It could be a close fight. I wouldn't be surprised if it's a close fight. I wouldn't be surprised if Ramirez pulls off the win by decision or by a stoppage. I think if anybody's going to stop the other guy, it's going to be Ramirez stopping Taylor. And it's going to be from he just catches him out of nowhere or the more likely, in my opinion, he wears him down. That's the one big uh, thing I'm looking at with Taylor is he got, you know, he hasn't fought a full 12 round battle since we just broke the left lane to turn left onto Tully Road. And uh, at the end of 2019. So it's been pretty much a year and some change, a year and a half and a little bit of change since he's been tested in a 12 round fight. So this is not, you know, like I said, this is not an easy Second uh, from the by left no lane means. to turn left onto Tolly Road, then turn right. It, it is not easy by no by any means and a lock that he is going to win this fight. And you know, we're gonna see where his stamina is, if it's there. If Ramirez can use that game plan, cut the ring off and put pressure on Taylor he could wear Taylor down and stop him. But we'll see. Should be good. I think Taylor, um, like I said, I'm picking him to win the fight. I think it's going to be a tough one, but it should be a good one, and I can't wait to see it. Saturday, May 22nd, ESPN. You got three good fights to watch. Uh, probably going to start around 6 or 7 o'clock at night. I didn't get a chance to look at that at the time, but I'll definitely be watching it. And um, I'm actually rooting for Ramirez. He's from my area, and I'd love to see him become an undisputed world champion. But We'll see what happens. So that's it. Make sure you're paying attention. Undisputed titles, especially in the four belt era, is a very rare thing. And this is an exciting fight. And a star is coming out of it. Uh, Zapata on the undercard. You cannot, uh, cannot not see Zapata fight. He's very talented. He can box and punch. And he showed that. He's got a ton of heart. He showed that in the fight of the year last year. So check him out against Hank Lundy. And then the undefeated kid, Elvis Rodriguez, is talented. He's uh, fun to watch. He's a knockout fighter. We're going to see what he's got as he kicks the card off. So that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Then your destination will be on the right. True boxing. You've been hit with the truth.